Hey guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. Welcome back to my channel. And so I am so happy to announce that it is official. Sweeney Todd is coming back to Broadway in spring of 2023. I think this is great. Uh, Josh Groban and Annalie Ashford will star in the title roles. It'll be under the direction of Thomas Kale of Hamilton and under the musical direction and orchestration of Alex Lacamoire, also of Hamilton. Now, this is really great because um, they have decided to undertake Jonathan Tunick's uh, original 26-piece orchestration that was originally done in 1980. And this has not been done since 1980. When Sweeney Todd first opened uh, back then, Hal Prince directed, and the whole production was done on a very large scale. And since then, uh, the different reincarnations of Sweeney Todd have been small. You know, some of them have been called Teeny Todds. Um, but, and whether they've been revivals on Broadway or off-Broadway or on the West End or national tours or, you know, different productions around the world, they've all been relatively smaller productions. And so now they seem to be bringing it back in all its full glory. Um, it wasn't made very clear if Thomas Kale is bringing back some of Hal Prince's original staging or adapting some of that. It just made a very big deal about bringing back Jonathan Tunick's original 26-piece orchestration, which tells me maybe they are leaning towards a bigger production of it. Um, but, you know, I mean, this show lends itself to different interpretations and very much contemporizing it. So, you know, in Thomas Kale's creativity, you know, he could take it very different directions. So I'm excited to see where he goes with it. Um, but I, I mean, I've always loved Sweeney Todd. I was fortunate enough as a kid, one of the few productions that was brought back on a rather large scale was when Hal Prince paired with the Houston Grand Opera uh, down here in Houston, where I'm from. And I mean, I was pretty young and pretty impressionable, but he did it, it he scaled it back a bit, but since he paired with an opera company, he did pretty much the original um, staging. He had a huge orchestra, opera people were singing it. So it was sort of seen and, you know, the way it was meant to be seen and heard. And uh, I thought, oh, wow, you know, not all musicals have to be sort of up and splashy and happy. You know, you can have a really dark musical. And it sort of paired two of my favorite things at the time, you know, horror flicks and musicals. And I was like, oh, wow, there can be like gruesome blood and stuff on stage. This is crazy. This is great. Um, yeah, it's kind of a, you know, odd kid, but whatever. I mean, it was great and I loved it. And I loved the, the music. I still think Sweeney Todd is one of Stephen Sondheim's best musical, um, musicals. I, that might be heresy to say that. I mean, I still love that music better than like, Sunday in the park or into the woods. I, I, all right. I mean, say what you will, but that's just my personal opinion. Just my personal opinion. Don't hate, don't hate, but that's just me. That's just me. So we'll see, you know, Josh Groban, I know he doesn't have a lot of stage experience. I mean, he was in Natasha Pierre and the great comet of 1812. This is a really dark role. I mean, it's, it, it's a lot of gravitas to this role, so we'll see how he handles it. He certainly has the voice to sing Sweeney, and that's not even a question. So I'm not even questioning his voice on this role. And uh, Annalie Ashford, I mean, anything I've seen her in, she's like spot on casting for this. She has sort of that, that dark comedic wit and timing and a little bit of the kookiness 
And, you know, it's that's exactly what Mrs. Lovett needs. You know, somebody who's like, well, I'm kind of out of meat. I'm not doing real well here. And you do have those dead bodies. I mean, why waste them? You know, so... Yeah, I mean, it's an odd pairing. So, I, yeah, I totally see her doing that. I, yeah. So, anyway, it's going to be fun to see where this goes. I, I'm excited about it. And I'm very excited the second I heard that today. So, looking forward to it. Um, always something new and creative going on Broadway. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other videos. And I'll see you in the next. Bye.